In this tutorial, we will be covering the operations known as geometric transformations. These operations are move, rotate, scale, mirror, and extend. And we will start with the move tool, draw a couple of objects to have something to move, and we did two dice. Observe the five icons in the tool options palette. They represent five options, self, make one copy, make continuous copies, repeat copy, and finally multi-copy and they control whether an operation is applied to the original object or copies are made. And with the self option selected and the move tool active, click on the white die and then we click again a bit further in the project window. See how the die moves to the spot where the second click was made. Undo, select the copy option and repeat the operation. A copy of the object is placed at your second click rather than the original object. Undo again, Select the continuous copy option and repeat the operation. A copy of the object is placed at each click of the mouse. Double clicking or pressing the escape key ends the copying process. Undo the previous operation once more. Select the repeat copy option and repeat the operation again. The parameters established by the move of the first copy are repeated with each click of the mouse. Again, double clicking the mouse or pressing the escape key will end the copying process. Undo and select multi-copy, the final option in the tool options palette. When this icon is selected, additional options are shown in the tool options palette. Pay particular attention to the number of copies field. This is where you control how many copies will be made of your object. In this example, we will enter three. Click again in the project window. A copy is placed at the second click and two more copies at equal distance. In the previous examples, we moved our objects in the x and y directions. Right after you start moving an object, press and release the command key on Macintosh or the control key on Windows to move your object or copies perpendicularly, which would be along the z-axis. Doing so displays a blue up and down arrow, indicating the object can be moved vertically. If you wish to exit perpendicular mode and return to moving parallel to the reference plane, simply press and release the command key on Macintosh or the control key on Windows again. We should point out that there are two options in the tool options palette that also allow you to move parallel and perpendicular to the reference plane. The second tool in the transformation suite of tools is the rotate tool. As its name indicates, this tool is used to rotate an object or a copy of an object. Options in the Tool Options palette are identical to those for the Move tool in the previous example. Now with the Rotate tool selected, click on your object to pick it, then click again to establish the center of rotation. A yellow rotation circle appears. It displays degrees to facilitate your rotation. Click a third time to start the rotation and a fourth time to complete the rotation. You can also numerically input your rotation degree by utilizing the rotation angle field located in the input palette above the modeling window. Here we enter 70 in the rotation angle field and our die is rotated 70 degrees. The third tool in the transformation suite of tools is the independent scale tool. This tool is used to scale in the X, Y, and Z directions of an object independently of each other. With the independent scale tool active, select your object. Notice in the action palette that your next click will set the base point for the scale operation. And two more clicks determine the length of the scaling. There is also a uniform scale tool that applies the same scaling factor to all the dimensions of an object. It is executed exactly as independent scale. Next in the transformation suite is the mirror tool. This tool is used to mirror or reflect a selected entity about an axis. After you select the mirror tool, observe that its tool options palette contains two options. The first is self and it applies the operation to the object itself. And the other, which is the copy, makes a copy and mirrors the copy. In this example, we will mirror a copy of the black die. With the mirror tool, click on the die 
Click again to define the first point of the mirror axis. After this click, the axis is rubber banded and with it the mirrored object, which allows you to check the result you may want to generate. Then click one more time to define the second point of the mirror axis and to freeze its position. The object is mirrored about this axis. The final tool in the transformation suite of tools is the extend tool. This allows you to extend a single segment or all the segments that end on a particular face. Let's observe the tool options palette. Leave the default two face option on. And draw two wall objects roughly as we show here. And with the extend tool click on the left face of the right object. Navigate the view to be able to see the left object better and then click on the front face of the left object. Observe that all the segments of the left face of the right wall, which is our first selection, are extended to the right face of the left wall, which was our second selection. Next we will do a couple of more examples with the Extend tool. We will generate a couple of roof-like objects and to do this we will use the Rectangle Drawing tool and create a couple of 2D rectangles. Then we will use the Offset Segment tool and place a segment in the middle of each of the two rectangles. And then finally we will use the Move tool and move each of the two middle segments perpendicularly until each of the two rectangles now resemble roofs. We shall extend the smaller roof to the face of the larger one. And we shall do this by extending each segment individually. Now with the Extend tool select the bottom right segment of the smaller roof then the front face of the larger roof, and the segment is now extended to the face. We repeat the operation for the other two segments, and the smaller roof is now extended to the larger one. The other option in the Tool Options palette is labeled Distance, and it has a numeric field next to it. Its current value is 2 feet, and we will do an example with this option. Let's say we want to extend the larger roof shape by 10 feet. Here's how it's done. But in this example, we will pre-select our segments close to the end we wish to extend. First, we select the bottom front segment, and then the top segment, and the back bottom segment. Now select the Extend tool, and in the Tool Options palette, select the Distance option and enter 10 feet. Now click anywhere in the Project window, and the right end of the larger roof is extended by 10 feet. This concludes our transformations tutorial.